Example four, a truck driver knows that his semi-trailer is 3.5 meters high. The support beams of a bridge are 11 feet, nine inches high. Will the vehicle fit under the bridge? So we've got to do some conversions here. Let's say I was converting, we're going to do this one two ways. We can convert metric to imperial or the other way around. So let's start with metric to imperial just to see how that would look. So 3.5 meters is how many um, feet and then we'll figure out you know how that breaks down for feet and inches. So I'm going to convert meters to feet. So I'm going to see if I have a direct relationship between meters and feet. And I do, if I look, I have one foot is 0 0.3048 meters. So I want feet to remain over 0 0.3048 meters. So meters is going to cancel out. So my calculator, I go 3.5 divided by 0 0.3048. And I get 11.4829, etc. cetera, feet. So that rounds off. So that's approximately 11.5 feet. Now, kind of lucky on this question, half of a foot would be six inches if one foot's 12 inches. So I can then understand with my estimation, this is 11 feet, six inches. And so 11 feet, nine inches is the support beams on the bridge. So the vehicle fits under the bridge. with about three inches to spare. So I'm not sure I would try, try that if there's a bump in the road. Now, I wanted to show you, because we have to be careful with certain unit conversions. What if we went um, and converted this to meters instead? So 11 feet, nine inches. So I wanna know that is total inches and then convert inches to meters. So 11 feet, if we take that 12 inches, times one foot, so 11 times 12 inches is 132 inches. And you're probably used to converting feet to, to inches by now. So this is 11 feet, 132 inches, plus we have our nine inches. So 132 inches plus nine inches means that that bridge is 141 inches tall. So I'm gonna take 141 inches and I wanna convert that to meters now. So let's take a look at our formula sheet on this side here. So I have inches to centimeters. If you take a look, I have centimeters to inches here, but I don't have centimeters, uh, or sorry, inches directly to meters, but I know the relationship between centimeters and meters. One centimeter, sorry, 100 centimeters is one meter. So I'm going to convert, um, I can convert to centimeters first and then inches. I'm fine that I can, can do this one step in one step now though. 2.5 centimeters is going to be how many meters? So we should know if one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters, then that means one inch, if we just move the decimal two to the left or divide by 100, 0 0.0254 Meters. If you're not comfortable with your metric system and converting centimeters to meters, you can still set up a ratio with your one meters over 100 centimeters and let the um, units cancel out. So for example, 2.5 centimeters, if I wanted to convert that to meters, one meter divided by 100 centimeters. So that reminds you that it's division, 2.54 divided by 100 is where that came from, so that the centimeters cancel. So if you don't remember how to move the decimal, you can go back to this unit conversion ratio. So one inch is equal to 0 0.0254 meters. So I want my answer in meters. So 0 0.0254 meters divided by one inch cancel. So again, unit conversion ratio is always gonna help me out new units over all. 141 times this number, you put that in your calculator, you're gonna get 3.5814 meters so that you see that um, the semi-trailer is 3.5814 meters and you're comparing that to your um, 141 inches. So you get the same results.